Welcome to the old number seven garage guys. We appreciate you stopping by. We invite you to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Comment. I do read all of them and like the videos if you like them also. Today, not a racing video, but it is part of the, part of the racing fleet. Our 2002 Alpha Sia motorhome. We've got to get the air conditioner working. It is not blowing cold. It's barely blowing. I know there's something going on with it. There's a lot of people out there looking for insight or help on removing this basement air conditioner. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to dig right into it. Hopefully it helps you guys. Let's get her going so we can get it back on the road and get to some races. Okay, guys. Now, I just joined this group. And then the five minutes that I was joined, I figured out how to pull this basement air out. Simple. And as long as you got a cooler, you can slide it out. Took me about an hour to get everything loosened up. This is the reason why I had it out. I knew, I knew the uh, evaporator was clogged. And that is, hey, look at that, 100% blinded. I can't believe it. Now I'll go further into detail, take this apart a little more. And you guys go ahead and put some comments down here uh, what I need to take apart and what I need to oil. I haven't seen a good video of this, so I figured, you know, why not? So I loosen these bolts, these bolts right here, the front ones, all the way down. So that way this would basically kind of go down and you can slide it out. I slid this out by myself. There's your vents. There's a screw here. Screw here, screw here. Oh, no, I'm lying. There's a screw here and here on the bottom, two. Here, there's a screw on the top two times, one there, one there, one there, one there. These are hard to get to. You can kind of get your other arm in here and find this one. This one you gotta do one-handed and hope you're good at not finding stuff in the dark. Ah, I wonder why mine wasn't cooling very good. Now I got some coil cleaner. I'll clean this up and uh, I'll show you the process of that. Here's our uh, condenser side. It needs straightened out in a few places. That is just, wow. That's bad. O2 Alpha Sia. Okay, basement air. Okay, moving on along. Here we go. We got the, uh, uh, what is it? The evaporators fan pulled out. Just laying over here. Gonna oil it up. It actually looks in good shape. All the bearings look good, but I'll hit the oil spots. I'll show you those. Here's the clean side of this. And then of course we got the, these. I got this, it's called New Bright Coil Cleaner. I'm gonna spray it in here. I'm gonna spray the back side of the condenser. Get that clean, which I've done already from the outside in, but I wanna go from the inside out. Here's your two compressors. It is just a dusty, dirty mess in here. Anyway, looks like the uh, plug for the oiler on that one is gone. Here's this one, right here. And these don't have any play in them. Maybe a little side to side, but spins good. Same with this one. No, sorry if I'm sniffling a lot, but no real play in it, but spins well. Here's your oiler. I'm assuming it's like some oil on the back side. But basically that thing was deadheading itself, sucking against it, I mean, nothing, it can't with that. So I'm gonna spray this in here and that'll foam up, basically push all that stuff out. You'll see it's already starting to work here. And this stuff will, whew, you get it up in your crawl, <laughs> it'll, it'll make it cough a little bit. And I ain't joking. So use it wisely, the ventilated area. When you let this stuff do its, do its job, it'll really, really make this nice. Okay, so we'll let that work. Look at that stuff. Now hopefully it goes through the other side also and pushes that stuff out. The guy could do this, but I think he's just wasting his time. I think I just need to move it out first. I'll let that do its job. See, it's already working on the other. So, 
side. Maybe we can clean this out again too. And it'll burn your hands if you get it on you. No doubt about it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'll come back with you in a minute. We'll see how it all looks. So there's your before. Remember that, 100% blinded. I don't see anywhere where air could go through that. I don't, don't know how it was drawing any air. Wow. Okay. Okay, y'all. I think it's that time. Got it going out there. It's not doing much here. So we've got to, uh, we're just gonna push it through, hopefully. And we'll clean all this out. We see it's foaming up here a little bit, but I'll set you up here and let you see what I see. Oh, this is gonna be good. Or not, but the paint won't even uh, penetrate it. All right, we're spraying this right now. And straight through with a hose. We got a lot of suds because of that pool cleaner on this side. It's not even wanting to go through here. Wow, completely blinded. That's embarrassing. Don't hit your water hose end on the coils because it doesn't take anything to bend them. Wow. Bad, bad, bad. So I'm going to sit here for about another month. Try to clean this thing out. Should be draining out down there. There we go. Got some draining. I'll come back in about an hour and a half and I get this cleaned up. Cool. I'm blowing this out. It's trying to get a little bit of mud and stuff come through the coil. You can see just ever so slightly. We're going to get that coil cleaner to go this way. And then it'll hopefully flush it back out. Here we got round two, and you can see it's getting rid of most of that stuff. Most of it's coming right off. Let's uh blow some water through this way. See this side's looking pretty good. Let's blow some water through this way. See if uh see what she looks like. Yeah. That's getting her cleaned up, boys. There we go. At least we're pushing water through it this time. That's gonna be good. This, folks, this is our enemy. Whenever that hole plugs up, your evaporator can't leak out. Then it gets laid in here, in that insulation. Makes a nice little paste. Yes. That's what's called preventative maintenance. Should have been done a long time ago. Anyway, so that's where we're at. Evaporator's looking much, much better. Much. I mean, you could uh, blow through it. Got a little more rusties down here. This is just sitting there holding moisture whenever this little pan overflows. So what I'm going to do is spray some uh, Evapo Rust or Rust inhibitor spray paint type stuff on that. Get a new piece of this insulation. Lay here. New piece there. Because that's where your cold air is coming in. And we want that good and insulated. And we'll put her back together. All right, guys, current situation here. We got some uh, duct insulation, self-adhesive. It's like foil and foam, okay? So I took that because this stuff here on the bottom just basically went, went to nothing. I mean, the insulation there is, it's just junk, wet and nasty. So my best solution was some of this stuff, trim to fit, got it down there. I mean, it's not real thick, but it's gonna do, it's gonna do a job. Okay, it's gonna insulate. That's gonna let that be pretty good. And I got an idea with some of this like construction foam stuff, project panel they call it. 
got it at Lowe's. It's like five bucks. So I thought maybe I'm gonna set that down here on top of that. You know what I mean? Glue it down. Maybe even replace this stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but that's the current situation. I'm getting ready to put it all back together. So that's what we got. We're gonna get her get her going. Oh, something else I did. Uh, I got some, where is that? This stuff here. I sprayed it down on the bottom of this because it was rusty. It's rust reformer. Basically it just converts converts the rust over. I sprayed all the this stuff, sprayed it down. Got all that nasty rust color off there. Sprayed a little bit of this, just turns it black. So anything that was rusty, like the bottom of this, where it just set in the water all the time, sprayed that, got that, I know it's galvanized, but you don't want that rusted up. Same with this. All right, so we're gonna move forward. Getting close. Okay, here we go, guys. Unit complete. Everything's screwed down. I used some of this uh, foam adhesive with a adhesive on the back foam. I put it around this door here where the compressors are. I put it around the perimeter here. Through here on the top to seal it. It was basically just the same kind of foam stuff, just deteriorated away to nothing. I added a little more here to make a good seal where that fan's blowing the cold air in. This one here looks good. It's not crushed too bad. We're ready to slide this baby in. I'm ready to try it out and see how she works. I'm excited. All right, well, I'm gonna wrestle this thing in there. So basically, I'm just gonna slide this thing as close as I can and raise the back of it up. And I get it started in there. Once I get it started, I can just shove it right on in. The hardest part is gonna be lining these holes up. Screw holes. You know what I mean? For this box. This box has only got two. I think I'm gonna put another one here and one here. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, well, I don't know. We'll decide that when I get there. I don't wanna get into that evaporator and screw into one of the coil lines. This is good and sealed back up. All right, nothing to it but to do it, right? So that, in there, slide it right in. Like I said before, I took these bolts, loosened them all the way up, the heads of it's right there, bolt down, basically just kind of letting it rest. I loosened the back ones up. There's one. On, there's four on each corner, or one on each corner, total of four. So, let's see if we can get this baby back in there. My back is gonna be hurting. took many 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 hours and I'm telling you fellas it's not for the hearts that like to faint if you know what I mean faint a heart whatever yeah well I just got to jam about 15 wires in here get the uh, wizard box all buttoned up and then I gotta go in the back and blindly find four to six screw holes and put 
put them in the same spot they were. Yeah, pretty well just downhill from here. Nope. Oh, success! She is running. In there, mount it up. Let's go inside and check it out. That was a job. That blows out about 58.7 times harder. Yep. Uh, 88, it was 90 when I turned it on. Do we got a thermometer? Yep. By the way, you might get a little bit dirty. We'll come back in a minute. Dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. So that's how you take out your basement unit, clean it. Wow. Yeah, the dogs are hanging out right there. You see what he did? Who, me? Oh, it's where I put my hand? Yeah. Ooh. You can actually feel it coming out of this one, which you never could before. I can tell you, I can just listen to that to tell you it's blowing harder. That's the temperature. Right now it's at 70. It's going down. Ever so slightly. It was blowing about 50 degrees. Oh, it's a good spot for you. Yeah, that's going to cool it down a lot more. So, in all reality, that was worth it. So, if you got any more questions, or any questions, period, and you like getting dirty, you know, do it yourself. It wasn't that hard. I did it by myself. Zero help. 100%. Well, maybe, maybe he helped. She brought a water out to me a while ago. That's going to make it better for us. We're down to 60 on that. It's dropping a degree about every minute. I'm happy with it. All right, guys, stay tuned. We got more how-tos on how we fix our Alpha. 36-footer, brand new to us. You know, she's got issues, but nobody's perfect. You know, I mean, there's some broke stuff. Oh, can't forget that. You know, dogs and stuff. Uh, check out our booth we put in here. Worked out real nice. If you can find one of those, I suggest doing it. Well, many, 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 many hours later, and a couple beers, we got her done. The basement air conditioner is cleaned out. It was a freaking disaster. Disgusting. Uh, that goes to show you, you got to clean your air filters out. Terrible. Uh, it's done. Did it by myself, so you can tackle this job on your own. If you got a buddy, grab a case of beer and bribe him. You could use him. Uh, we're going to end it. It's done. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please uh, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're looking for your racing fix. We drag this thing all over the place with our modified dirt racing. Also, if you're looking for any hats, we got old number seven garage hats in the gray and orange and the gray and black or charcoal and black in the front. And we got shirts, which I don't have one on, but I need to push my merch a little more, so that's what we're doing. All right, link down below for our store. Grab you one. Or if you're at the track and you see me, we'll have them there too. Guys, we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.